All right, so the next on our agenda is we're going to Fogo. So it's going to be a tiny plane. Let me see if I can get y'all to see that. That little plane right there is going to take us all over there. So island hopping as best as we can. In order to get over there, we got to get a COVID test. So it's a little different than before, but still going to make it last nonetheless. Finding flights and trans island travel was very difficult during the pandemic. Luckily, Melissa's family members got us in contact with a local who helped us book flights and ferries. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to do it. The flight was less than an hour away, but you needed a rapid COVID test within 72 hours before. We booked our Airbnb beforehand, but we didn't realize how far away it was from the airport. And it was about $40 USD. just got into Fogo. Um, actually, we just took a taxi to our Airbnb. This joint looks crazy. Um, Fogo, just to drive over, was like nothing I've ever seen. It's literally, we're in a volcano. So, stay tuned. This is inside of our Airbnb. This joint is crazy. Behind us here, we got a hammock. We got some hangout spots. And look behind us here. Bomba clad. <laughs> yo, we dead ass in a volcano, y'all. We're dead ass in a volcano right here. This is crazy, y'all. Yo, so we are in the island of Fogo. Yo, this place is nuts. Driving over here was like nothing I've ever seen. It was just straight dry land. It was black sand. Everything is different. If you look down on the floor here, it's straight lava. It's like crazy. Up top over there is a volcano. We think we're going to climb it, but the crazy part about this is a volcano erupted in 2014 and that's seven years from now and the floor is still hot. The ground is hot. It's still emanating heat. So So now we're just walking on the old ash, the lava, I think. Brian Little. <laughs> So we've been walking for a little bit. Check out this ground here, y'all. This is literally volcanic ash. This is dried lava that's here. Um, when you step on it, I hear that noise. And the crazy thing is, it's still hot. Um, up top over there is called Pico de Fogo. as well but this is the most important thing it is so hot here yo you need water so, um, we're hoping to get a guide to climb up that volcano tomorrow um, but the guide just told us that it's about a five to six hour hike depending on how fast you're going and that we want to go at 6 a.m. so we can beat the Sun at 12 so um, it sounds like a crazy hike I mean Let's hope it's good. I don't know, but it's, it's gonna be a beater. Y'all ready for it? We're 
we're gonna see how this goes. Yo, stay tuned for this, man. And due to COVID, all of these are gonna be empty as well. So we're all gonna get our own, but we only paid for this one right here. Yo, so we actually gotta change the room because it's so damn hot. Like it's suffocating in here. Um, the lady told us that these are the hotter ones. So when we came in around like four o'clock, it wasn't even that bad, but it will be impossible to sleep in this. So I think it's because of the lava. So they say that it's still kind of hot. So it radiates the heat. The floor is hot. The bathroom is hot. All right, it's currently 5 a.m. I'm walking into Melissa's room. Um, we're about to head out on this hike. Um, it's supposed to start at six, so we're gonna try to get some breakfast before. I don't really know what to bring, so I'm bringing a dry fit shirt, some shorts, my new bounces, that's all I really got. Um, I think I'm gonna try to bring my hoodie just in case it gets cold, but from what I hear, the sun is about to be crazy. Make sure you got your sunblock. So right here is what we're about to eat before the hike. I wish it was a little bit more hearty, but it is what it is. Gotta make do what we got. We about to try to tackle this beast today. Dang, this joint about to be different. Sun is about to rise. So 2014 was near here, and uh, 2014 came here and destroyed all the village here and continue because of the panorama, uh -huh. destroying the... Yeah, yesterday we were in one of the rooms over here and it was too hot, we couldn't stay in it. So we had to move to a different room. You can listen some kind of boom. In the beginning, they, we have stones on the rock. Yes. We have to walk slowly and be careful. And then we have the black sand. Yep. You can run away as fast as you can. <laughs> very, very funny. Gotcha. So he said he did this hike over a thousand times. And if he wanted to do it, he could do it in an hour and a half. I don't think we're there yet, but. About an hour in, incline is no joke. It starts out real flat, but it turns up real quick. We feel it now. So from here, it's pretty much a direct incline straight up. We're doing a good time now. Now we're at this point where we gotta climb up these rocks. All right, so we're officially about two hours in now. The sun is starting to rise. It's still beautiful, we're rising with the sun. We're above the clouds right now. Um, I think we got about an hour to the peak, so. So the higher you go, the problem is, is there's less oxygen in here. So I got the white, <laughs> cause I ain't drinking enough water and it's hard to breathe up here. And we at the top, y'all. Oh man. <laughs> Yesterday I told y'all we was gonna get here, but we finally did. We are 2,800 meters up from sea level. This crater right here is approximately 500 meters wide and 180 meters in diameter straight down. This last one was erupted in 17 when? 
1725 but if you look down there you can still see some of the sulfur um, you can definitely still smell it that green stuff down there is that sulfur and this can get up to 500 degrees so if you go down there your shoes might actually melt on your feet so don't do that kids all right Eriko. Eriko. Yes. what are we doing now now you have to hold very well yep. and make slowly, slowly till to the top. To get to the top there. Yes. Now we're on the side of the mountain. We're pulling onto this chain to get ourselves up here. Because down there is the bottom of the volcano. Crater. Yeah. This one is from 2014, exactly. Yep. And, and then just the other one next yep. is 1994. Gotcha. But all of this black was caused by the last two eruptions in 2014 and 19. Which one? 95. 1995. Exactly. <laughs> hey, running down now too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> got him. Keep going. Keep going. We running down a damn volcano. Keep going, Melissa. <laughs> She's a runner. She's a track star. She gonna run away when it gets hard. We are at Pico Pequeño. Now, Pico Pequeño was the last volcano to erupt in 2014, but it actually erupted for two whole months and didn't end until February of 2015. If you look over here, you can see the different organic materials. So, yellow is for sulfur, red is for the uh, high concentration of iron, and the black is just from um, the lava and the ash. But this is still a very active volcano now. adventure was done he says we gotta cross the lava field to get to our place fresh lava, fresh lava here <laughs> this is a production all right so this is dinner got the pork for aga what is this melissa chicken chicken with the what Azedinho. Azedinho. What is that? It's a little fruit. I don't know. It's a fruit, so it's mm -hmm. kind of sweet. Let me go to rice. So here we are at Salina, which is a black sand beach because we're on the island of Fogo, which has the volcano. Black sand beach. That's fire. We're the only ones here which is dope as well. <laughs> All right, so these are fresh from the tree. Let me get these here. <laughs> Pick them right from over here. Trali, trali, ali. Melissa, what are these called? Ozedinho. Ozedinho. <laughs> Never had these, but you know I'm gonna try it. We have these fruits called Ozedinho. Mm -hmm. um, 
I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Tart. <laughs> like a, kind of lemony. I wouldn't say they're good. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> just keep eating it. Mm -hmm. It'll grow on me. New day, we we'll back in Fogo. How you say it? Fogo. How you say it? Fogo. <laughs> this is where we were staying at. This is her uncle's crib. It's fire. It's beautiful. Painted colors. Um, it has like tiles and things. So beautiful. We got to stay here for free last night. Plug. She's the plug. I By accident. Oh, whatever. She don't really know these people. She just plugged in. <laughs> So now we're rushing to get on a ferry to head back to Praia. Um, we're the last ones here. So they were waiting for us, but our ferry doesn't leave till 930. But I guess once everybody's here, they just leave. So um, off back to Praia. <laughs> 